The Malshi's development began in 1990 to create a companion dog that did not shed much, thus making it such a lovable and adorable dog. The breed is a trendy dog among pet owners in Australia, although its popularity over the years has spread to countries such as North America and other countries. It is also known as the Malt Tzu, originating from crossing the Maltese and Shih Tzu breed of dogs. There is no specific size for this breed, although most of them appear to weigh about 6 to 12 pounds, with a height of about 10 inches. A Malshi is a very active and outgoing dog. Personality According to some owners, the dog appears to be a brilliant pet who can quickly adapt to its surroundings. They are very active and outgoing, but some can be calm and quiet. The breed appears to be a thrilled dog who is always ready to play or engage in many fun activities. It helps many people from experiencing loneliness because he can be very active whenever you need to play with him. Health They experience many health problems. Some are related to breeding where both parents can pass on genes prone to diseases. Here are some of the health conditions that are associated with the Malshi. Hybrid intensity Hip dysplasia patellar luxation, white shaker syndrome, exercise. A Malshi requires exercise that should be done daily. It can be by walking him around your yard or the neighborhood as a leisure activity. Another form of exercise is engaging him in fun activities such as fetch games around the yard. The exercise should take about 10 to 15 minutes daily to prevent your pet from getting bored. They do well in homes with yards to find space to roam around. However, they most definitely require homes with air conditioning, for they may suffer from respiratory problems when subjected to hot and humid conditions. Training Malshis are excellent dogs for training because it is easier for them to be very eager to learn, thus making them an excellent choice for first-time dog owners. A Malshi should be subjected to crate training from an early age to prevent him from causing accidents inside the house or being in places he is not required to be. This training is convenient because the dog will also get used to napping in the crate, thus avoiding crossing roads with people inside the house. It also helps your pet not be hot-headed whenever he needs to be hospitalized or confined. Diet The dog will require a one-quarter to half a cup of high-quality dry food. It would be best to feed your dog twice a day rather than giving him the food once a day. You should measure his food depending on his age, size and metabolism, and ability to be active. To avoid your dog from becoming obese, you should check by consistently placing your thumbs slightly along his spine to gauge whether you feel his ribs or not. If not, this indicates that your dog has gained weight and thus requires more exercise to lose the added weight. Grooming The Malshi's coat must be brushed daily to remove mats and ensure that the tangles are kept out. Clip and brush them for at least a week. It would help if you also brushed your pet's teeth daily to ensure that the tartar and the bacteria on his teeth are removed to prevent the dog from having gum diseases and even bad breath. To prevent your dog from feeling pain due to longer nails, you should trim his nails twice a month to prevent him from hurting himself or other people around him with the long nails. The breed tends to develop tear stains under its eyes. They require tear stain removers to ensure that they are treated to keep the area around their eyes always clean. Malshis are low shedders. Therefore, they are not messy animals when leaving fur on your clothes as an owner, 